once you get out of training, you're funneled into what's called the pipeline, and you become a number while you're traveling it until you get spewed out somewhere at the other end. After you land, you look for signs of war, a bullet scar in a wall, a bombed out building. You don't have to look very hard. You see a lot of poverty, kids starving. When you get on the trucks, after the ship and the train, you know the pipeline is carrying you further towards the front. You're going to be a combat infantryman, the tip of the spear. You don't know what it will be like or what will happen. And you wonder whether you're going to get killed. Any kind of a war here, a war that we can't really win because it's got to be settled around a conference table. In the meantime, we have to keep fighting and we have to keep dying, and I think you men have a right to know why. It's as simple as this. The enemy has got to keep getting hurt. Every day he stalls at Panmunjom, there's got to be a day that costs him good. The more pain, the more casualties he suffers, the easier the job our negotiators are going to have, and the sooner this thing will end. Now, tomorrow, we'll be moving up to the MLR, the main line of resistance. Good luck, man. That's all I have, Corporal. All right, you guys, fall in outside. You and you, right here, and the rest of you guys, line up on these two. Follow me. How far are we from the MLR? Oh, about five miles. Hold it. You're in here, Loomis. Shh. Raymond's sleeping. I got a new man for Van Horn. I take he have job work. OK. Charlie will take care of you. OK, let's go. I show a picture. Get away from the fence! Girl, you keep. What the? Are you crazy? Like a mangsini, a mangsini, a wagurini. All right, Mama Zan, just take it easy. She is no mother. Nega nea sekimio nega chugi gata. Smells bad here. Jai. Welcome to Korea. I hope you don't die. Here. First squad, third platoon? Yeah. Are you Sergeant Van Horn? Yeah, you replaced me. That's right. Name's Loomis. Hey, hold the rocket! I'm sorry. What? Name's Loomis, Roy Loomis. Okay, Loomis. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. Who's the kid? Oh, Charlie, he's uh, one of the guys in the squad looks out for him. His people are dead. Mm. So you're in the first squad, huh? Yeah. Show Wallace your squad leader. He's over by the Jeep. Go report. Right. Hey, I didn't tell you guys to quit. Come on, let's go. We haven't lost a war yet, but we sure are pussyfooting our way through this one. How long have you been in the Army, Karate? 1937. But I'm thinking about quitting. What would you do? Well, I... <laughs> you better stick with it. You stay out of jail. Yeah, that's what my mother said. You are still here because of the dishonest tactics employed by imperialist negotiators. The People's Army of China desires peace. You desire peace. 
Yet, because Wall Street does not desire peace, each morning sun shines upon the bodies of young... What a station. One lousy beat-up record for a commercial, The Communist Manifesto. Now, you know I like that old dragon lady. <laughs> She's sexy. Who? She's on their loudspeakers up at the MLR. Loudspeakers? Yeah. <laughs> this is a crazy war. She plays music for us. It's very romantic. This baby's ready. Baby? going? To work. You want some? No, no. Where? Out behind their lines. Alone? Every night. I'll see you around. Yeah. Hello. Hi. I love you. You got trouble, G.I.? Come on, I fix. Come on, I show you a place you can get through fence. No worry, no MP. Sweetheart, you know what my trouble is? I good, I fix. I can't even believe I'm here. About some quiet, huh?
What do you think's happening up there? Nothing much. <laughs> Not as long as the politicians are still jabbering away there. Now, anytime things go south, Pan Moon John, that's when we really get slammed. <laughs> Pay Ping Radio always tells Crotty what's going on. Hey, still got that sandpaper, There's huh? coffee in the weapons carrier? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, mount up! Let's go! Go. Yeah. All set? Yes, sir. Is that a mine? Uh, he just sent season's greetings. That's all. I guess they know we're coming. Yeah, they dropped that one and remind us we're not out for a Sunday drive. If they thought we were worth it, they might give us three, four, maybe a dozen more. The artillery zeroed in on this stretch. There's not a thing we can do about it except keep moving, which I wish we'd do. I'll tell you something. I first got over here, my wife sent me a letter, a little clipping from a hometown newspaper. I don't know what she had in mind, but anyway, this writer said that the Chinese army had to get hopped up on opium before they could stage an attack. <laughs> that they had lousy clothes, worse equipment, and no discipline at all. <laughs> Walla, get your squad together. Follow me. All right, let's dance.
keep the guys here. I'm going to check with the captain. I'll be right back. On the side of these sandbags is no man's land. Is that Ridge? The first one? No, the big dark one. That's the oh. Chinese. We've got an outpost about 200 yards straight out. You'll be able to see it during the day. Hey, what's that light? Ah, they got a beacon over there at Pam Um Jam. Want to make sure nobody lobs a shell over there by mistake. When you're out in patrol, you learn how to get your bearings by it. That's the old dragon lady. <laughs> to tell you whether we got scrambled eggs or sunny side up tomorrow. I wonder how many of you in the coming weeks will die for somebody's dividends. Well, we'll try to make your journey on as pleasant as we can. But now we have a delightful selection for your listening pleasure. Hope she's got some Charlie Parker tonight. They got the dragon lady, we got big mouth! <laughs> We're on the wrong side. As long as the loudspeakers are chewing at each other, we ain't. We got the same bunkers as last time. I need you and three members of your squad for a patrol tonight. You pick and meet me at the CP in about 15 minutes. Keep two men on the line all night. The rest of you guys can flake out. Roddy, you and Lewis are from 12 to 2. Hey, Loomis, you and me are on guard from 12 to 2. There ain't nothing to it. What's the patrol like? Ah, oh, it's real easy. You work slow, stay on the path, keep your eyes and ears open. If you get caught in a flare, freeze and just hope they don't see you. What about their patrol? Ah, no sweat. If they run into one, it's real simple. Throw all your grenades, fire every round you got, and run. Oh, yeah? Hey, Charlie. Hey, say, Raymond. He'll take that bunk. Yeah, sure. He's tired. Well, kids need their sleep. What was that? He said kids need their sleep. You're right. You're absolutely right. Go to sleep, and I'll, I'll be back in the morning. I'm not tired. When I go with you, soon. We'll see. Hey, hey, fall on it, Bellotti. <laughs> Must have had another step. <laughs> Where's my socks? Uh, Where's Van Horn? He's over at the CP. Well, somebody tell him, if he's going to be in Ruby tonight, that I'll be there sometime. Why? How long has that guy been here? Less than a year. I remember the first day he joined the outfit. I remember thinking he was afraid. Boy, you are a red-hot judge of character. First thing he did was volunteer for two-man patrols. Then one night he went out on his own. They're like AWOL, but in the wrong direction. Captain liked the information he brought back, so he let him go again. At least he never stopped him. <laughs> you know, I used to wonder about that guy. I'm sure glad he's on our side. Okay, I'm What's watching. the story? Oh, we're trying to locate a buddy of ours. Took a shot at Doyle this morning. 
But he's not buying. Yeah, well, he'll take a crack at it. Yeah. He's got the helmet in his sights and a finger on the trigger right now. I can feel it. The finger's getting itchy. Yeah, the finger's getting itchy. <laughs> I'm gonna tantalize him now. Sam? I didn't see a thing, Karate. The sun's all right. Ah, Fresno, you wasn't <laughs> watching! Yes, I, I, I was. <laughs> all right. We'll try again tomorrow after chow. Now, 2,300 hours, Corps Artillery's gonna fire a mission on that supply dump that Endor spotted. We'll probably hear it go over. We'll observe and report back the effects of the barrage. SOP on the patrol formation, observe radio silence. Password tonight's Yankee, countersign stadium. Crotty, I saw that training film, too, so knock off that phony coughing, will you? I'm telling you, I'm sick. And I'm telling you one cough out of you out there, and I'll cut your throat with my rusty bayonet. Now, come on. Get your squad ready to go in half an hour. <coughs> This is Snooper One. Over. Gibraltar, Red Easy. This is Snooper One. Have reached objective. All right, let's bug slowly. Hey! Talk English. You want to talk about it? Knock it off, will you, Chaplin? Well, the kid's having a bad dream. So I was having a good one. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay?
your mail. Well, thank you, Charlie. Okay. I got to get Raymond mail. How would you like to toss the ball around? Okay, I try. Right. Hey, guys. Uh, can we borrow those mitts a minute? You say there's a battalion here? Uh-huh. And a brand new mortar battery right here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they're building up a new, a new supply dump about here. What about their security? It's there. Plenty strong, too. Uh, I had some time, so I went by uh, Sheba. They've got a, a new two-man listening post about here. One of them was asleep. You don't suppose you could recheck this for me tonight, do you? What for? All right. I'm going to send this on to battalion. And I'm also putting through a follow-up on your commendation. I'm seeing to it that it goes through soon. That's all right, Captain. Soldier, haven't you been taught to call attention when a superior officer enters? I forgot. Well, be sure you remember it the next time. At ease. Colonel, this is the man I was telling you about. Endor, sir. That's still in the dead of winter, not a sniffle. <laughs> Orders here. Tell the Colonel Endor. Dug in solid, too. Colonel, I uh, don't suppose you've had a chance to read the recommendation. I have. How long have you been here, Endor? Ten months. Ten months what? Ten months straight. When was your last R&R? &R? I, um, uh, I was just, just in reserve. Uh, That's not what I asked you, soldier. Well, I have the power to, to do. Colonel, he hasn't had a chance to get any sleep yet. Take him off patrol for a while. I'll do that, sir. Your men need a little work on military courtesy. Yes, sir. Otherwise, all right. That able man, take care of him and yourself. Thank you, sir. You sure about this? Well, I could, I could check tonight, sir, if you wished, sir. Better get some rest. This war is going on for a while. Get Raymond, you've got to say sir to men like the colonel, especially when they're battalion commander. Uh, I don't want to go to Japan. You won't. He, uh, I just got back in the line. Don't worry. Now listen to this. At great risk to his personal safety, he consistently exercised individual initiative, making perilous night probes into enemy territory. On numerous occasions, he engaged the enemy in the hand-to-hand. -hand. That's the way the commendation begins. Uh, he said something about uh, not going on patrol. Well, 
You don't go on patrols with the others. You better get some sleep if you want to recheck that mortar battery at night. I can. Sure you can. You're letting it go up here. Bring it down. Okay. Right here. All right. Resno tells me you're from the north. Yeah, yeah. Did they kill your people? You. Jet firebomb. I ran. I see on fire. Gee, I'm sorry. Okay, it mistake. How did you meet Endor? I work for girls in the city. He and me talk. He doubt. He gave me better job. Belong him. Join army. Oh, speak of the devil. Devil? Arnie. Loomis, isn't it? That's right, sir. Come on, Charlie. Thomas. Sir? Leave that kid alone. He belongs to Endor. What do you mean? Endor's a valuable man. You must know that by now. Sir, I was just showing the boy. Just stay away from Charlie. Endor's nobody to fool with. OK, Loomis? Our march is improving. He's been getting a lot of practice lately. Give me a butt, huh? I wonder if he's got one of those skinny mustaches that hangs down. I wonder if any of them has. You go on patrol, and it's like crawling around in your own backyard. And those three nights I was at the listening post, I never heard one. Yeah, dandy thing they didn't hear you. Charlie? I remember the first one I saw. In a flare, he got scared and stood up, kind of an old guy. He saw me, he stared, and I looked at him. <laughs> and I think I'd still be looking at him if he hadn't started to run. You see them every night, Endor. What are they like? Young. How do you kill a man with a knife? I'll tell you. It takes knowledge and practice. And I've got good eyes. Often he'll be looking right at me and, and not see me, but I'll, I'll see him. Then if you know where to put the knife, it's, it's not difficult. And afterwards, how do you feel? What do you feel?
Get the first aid kit, Charlie. You get hit? Hey, if it's a wound, report it. It's with the Purple Heart. You want a Purple Heart, Connie? Just keep talking. Hey, you better get to the aid station. No aid station. They're coming. Tonight? Tomorrow night? Soon. It means I'll have to beef up Outpost Maryland. Yeah, it's our turn. Well, to change, anyway. What's the matter? You don't look happy. You ought to. It's your chance. How do you know they're coming? I read their mail, Loomis. All clear to the outpost. All right, follow me. Let's go. Rats. There's all kinds of cans and stuff out there. It's a great warning system if they get by the trip flares, huh? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Anybody come up that slope is up to his butt and garbage. <laughs> General, he he don't care how slop it is on their side. Don't you? What? I wasn't talking to you. Where'd they get that record? They got it at the what? PX. Come here. There's a new man out there. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to act like I'm used You're to it? You're supposed to act like a squad leader. I'll buy you a drink tomorrow. It's when she stops playing. That's when we screw on our belly buttons. Sergeant Van Hoen, Captain's come up to check the position. He wants to see you in here. Right. Gibraltar Red. This is Gibraltar Red Easy Six. Over. This is Gibraltar Red Easy Six. How do you hear me? Over. Brawler Red Easy Six. Roger out. Battalion loud and clear, Captain. Well said, sir. Good. Endor, what do you think? I think you ought to go back to the MLR.
Find yourself a hole, man. Lights and flares. Check Charlie and Fox Company to see if they got any patrols out. Gibraltar Blue Charlie. This is Gibraltar Red Easy Six. Over. they got there, which they wouldn't. You've got about two hours before getting nervous. Her now. You ever been in one like this before, Doug? No, sir. Neither have I. Flares! Flares! Lights! Turn on the lights and request final protective fire!
stars. Stripes. Help me. Lee. Oh, my leg. The enemy was turned back at the MLR. They didn't want the ground they gained. They just wanted to give us a hard time. My knee is badly sprained, but I'm still useful around here, and I'm working as a clerk for the supply sergeant for the time being. That's why this letter is being typed. My first combat is something I'll never forget. I'll write you about it later, I don't think I'll be as scared the next time. Hey, Loomis, hey, you're in supply now. Why don't you pull some strings, uh, get us some air mattresses, requisition <laughs> some booze. <laughs> All right. What don't you drink? Hey, you know, you're right. All right, <laughs> <laughs> what? He doesn't want it. Why can't I do something nice for this kid? What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. If... If Crotty had seen your chicken, he'd have killed you. Why didn't you kill me? It really doesn't matter. I like you this way. Hey. Hey! Don't mess with that guy! So all those kids are tough. The ones who ain't starved for death. Uh, Poussin here, eating things off the street. All right, what's your hero been saying about me? Hmm? Did he tell you that a man kills? What about when peace comes, Charlie? When the war ends? Freeman said maybe it not end. Well, it will one day. The fighting is going to stop. It's got to. Things will return to normal. And you'll start school. You want to go to school, don't you? School? Sure. To learn things, to make friends. Raymond and I got friends. We go away. We live in mountain. We build house. In America? Not America, here. He said that you'd build a house here, in Korea? Sure. Well, he can't make a promise like that. One day we'll all be going home, and he'll have to go home too. Raymond do what he like. Well, he lied to you, Charlie. He'll have to go back. He not go back. He not lie. You lie. Charlie. What's the matter with it? You don't talk to me. You stay away. Boy, you leave that bird alone. Give it to me.
I've been talking to Charlie. He thinks you're gonna stay here with him after the war ends. also said something about a house in the mountains. If you really care about that boy, you've got to tell him the truth. That he's got to go to an orphanage, right here. His clothes may not be anything special. The food they give him will probably be just enough to keep him going. But there'll be other children there. And he'll play games, children's games. And there'll be a teacher. If you don't put that boy where he belongs, I will. I mean that. And I'll go to the Colonel if I have to. But I don't want to. It's important to Charlie that it comes from you. Do you understand that? You. Butt out or I'll kill you. Smell that. It's all right. Dan? It's all right. <laughs> Sound it smells. <laughs> all right, here you go. Read it and sign after your name. What's up? You maintain posts throughout the day. What? It's a ceasefire. There. It's a mirage. After 2,200 hours, there will be no hostile acts by any of the armed forces of the United Nations. I have read and understand the foregoing. They're really voting to go to Manchuria. <laughs> Your signature signifies that you have read and or heard the order and understand it. I don't understand anything. Is this really happening? It's not over until 10 o'clock tonight. So let's not have a pig rush. Crowdy! Crowdy! <laughs> it's over! Hey! It's over! Go on home! It's over! It's over! Do I believe it? It's over? Yahoo! Yeah. 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 Go on home! I'm gonna get stoned. <laughs> It's over. The war's over, Charlie. Yeah, somebody ought to give Karl Marx the word. <laughs> 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 
That guy burns me. God. Medic! 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 What Hold me. All right. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. You're going to be okay. Ask me something. Anything at all. What's your name? Joshua. How old are you? Ask me oh. something else. Right. Where are you from? Keep on asking me. Where are you from? Wait, where's my bandana? It's over there. You got it. My father gave that to me. Did he? Ask me how old I am. How old are you? So scared. Hey! Hey! Hey, can you hear me, huh? Can you hear me, you dirty... Sniper got you gazing, sir. And these men try to get even, is that right? Is that right? As far as I know, sir. Uncover him. Now I'm gonna have to write a letter to the parents of this man, describing the circumstances of his death. I don't like writing these letters, and I intend this to be my last one. Now, you've all signed the ceasefire order. Until 2,200 hours, you are still at war. Now, protect yourselves accordingly and initiate no action. send you away to a place where they'll hit you if you break one little rule. But they don't know who you are, huh? What time is it? Uh, nine o'clock. Uh, one more hour. <laughs> no more dragon lady. <laughs> she must have taken off from Moscow. You know, I've been thinking. This here war has lasted three years, one month, and two days. One day too much for Fresno. Hey, Dan, what are you gonna do when you go home? Are you gonna go back to a farm? Oh, why, why is it all you Yankees think we're all farmers and belong to the KKK, huh? huh? Now, my daddy's got a gas station. Hey. Hey, ask me what I'm gonna do. All right. Well, ask me. Okay. You want to know what I'm going to do? 
Yeah. It's hard to believe it's really over. I hope. Sir, I need to talk to you. Go ahead. Uh, could you come outside for a minute? It's important. Well, what is it? Uh, sir, this is Loomis. Uh, what is it, Loomis? Tell him. Sir, I just saw Endor. He had his knife in that stuff he puts on his face when he goes out. I saw him. He took Charlie with him this time. They went out. I don't understand. You're saying out? He went out tonight? Doesn't he understand there's a ceasefire order? Yes, sir. He signed the order just like the others. You wouldn't be trying to kid me now, would you, Loomis? No, sir. Oh, boy, this is impossible. Does anybody else know about this, Loomis? Yes, Crotty, Showalter, I told them. Well, I don't want you to tell anybody else, and I mean anybody. Must be some kind of a mistake. Oh, boy. Anybody find out anything? No, sir, no one's seen a trace of either of them. Well, that's it. Let's shake hands anyway. Out there in them Chinese bottom. What would happen? To the ceasefire. I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. If they even saw that boy up. Well, if he is out there, wouldn't he come back in the morning like always? No. I don't think so. Battalion. Tell them we have a man missing. I don't want to open up that can of beans. Battalion notifies regiment, regiment notifies division, division notifies corps. 
There's no telling what they'll do with this at Panwin Jun. Who gave you people permission to leave your post? Corporal Benhoff, sir. Well, you tell them to forget it. Yes, sir. All right. I agree with Loomis. I don't think we can count on his coming back on his own. But we'll wait until sunrise. Captain, that zone's demilitarized. So? Nobody's supposed to be out there after midnight. All right. We'll go as a graves detail. Now we'll need a litter and some markers. Sure, I'm, I'm a 20-year man. I don't have a black mark yet. Luther, if that boy disturbs a ceasefire before you see your wife and little girl again, it's going to be another 20 years. Sometimes we have to take the initiative. Now, the way I figure it, now, if anybody feels different about this, I, I want you to tell me. If he's out there, he's still going to be in our sector till morning. He's not going to go where he doesn't know the minefields. Comes daylight, he's going to take cover. He's not going to walk around in the daylight. We're not going to find him out there, sir. There's too many places for him to hide. I don't think he's hiding. Sir, I'd like to go. I think I can talk to the boy. All right. We'll need a man with a radio. But if there's any talking to do, I'm going to do it. Nothing, sir. Give me those. Yes, sir. No, sir. All right, now, what are you going to tell Lieutenant Sanders? Well, you're going out to look for them men that didn't return from that last patrol we sent out. And what else? I'll let you be calling in every hour. All right. We've waited long enough. Let's go. Think, sir. They may have observers out here. They'll think we're trying to find one of our wounded, which we are. One of ours, Loomis Market. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Nothing. I've just never seen them in daylight. Come on. that's been burned out. The people are gone, but some of the houses are all right. And outside, the snow will be falling, cold and white. And the world will be so quiet. The sun on the snow, cold, clean air. And in the spring, Wildflowers. And I'll show you my secret. Secret? Don't you wonder why? No one's ever seen me at night. It's because I'm invisible. The truth can blind.
Raymond, it's Captain Pratt. When you didn't come back this morning, we figured you might need some help. I won't be coming back anymore. I'm not ready. I don't think you understand about the ceasefire order, son. We're supposed to stay back behind the lines now. It's the rules. The war's over. Which war? Come on down now, son. You and the boy. You must be hungry. I've got some candy bars here in my pocket. Listen, Raymond, your DSC came through. How about that, huh? I knew that'd make you happy. The general himself is coming down to pin it on you tomorrow. Raymond, why'd he come? Because he doesn't understand. You not come up! We suffer because he doesn't understand. We're just here to help you, Raymond. You're confused, I understand. We all understand. We've all been confused at times, Raymond. But you'll come back with us now. Won't you, son? The war is over. There'll be another. Now, it's all right now, son. Raymond, put that knife down. Drop that knife, Raymond. Now, you're a soldier in the United States Army, Raymond. And I'm your commanding officer. I am commanding. The command is that I am commanding the commandment. I, I am commanding. Drop that weapon. Oh, wait a minute, Captain. No, wait no. I am commanding. Now, Raymond and I are friends. He wouldn't do anything to me, not after all we've been through together. Wait! Shot for miles. Charlie! Charlie! Mark him! Soldier! 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 You all right, soldier? No. 